And here you have the vagus now, and uh, there is internal jugular vein here. And this much part is lying. in the carotid triangle. So this much part is in the carotid triangle. Now we will be discussing the relations of the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. So first of all in the carotid triangle which all structures form the relation. So the artery is caused superficially. So this is the external carotid. This is the external carotid and this is the internal carotid. This is the vagus nerve. This is the internal jugular vein. Now what happens? So it is closed superficially by a nerve which is known as the hypoglossal nerve. So the hypoglossal nerve passes in front like this. So structures closing it. Close to buy one now here. This now is the hypoglossal. As one is hypoglossal now, and other structures like cervical branch of facial, facial now, cervical branch. Now, mention about two veins here, lingual and superior thyroid veins. And in the carotid triangle, deep to the external carotid artery, there is wall of pharynx. So wall of pharynx is deep to the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. Now some nerves lie posterior to that. So the branch of that is superior laryngeal branch of vagus passes posteriorly and it divides into external laryngeal and internal laryngeal. So this one is the superior laryngeal branch of vagus. Branch of vagus which divides into internal and external laryngeal. So these are the relations of the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. Now above the carotid triangle, which are the relations. Now we see that above the carotid triangle, it is lying under the cover of parotid. It is lying deep to the parotid gland. So it is lying deep to the parotid gland. So the structures which is passing superficially inside the parotid gland will form the superficial relation of the external carotid artery here. So which are the structures passing superficially? 
which are the structures housing superficially. That is retromandibular vein. and the facial nerve so you know that retromandibular vein and facial nerve passes under the carotid gland so an external carotid is lying deep to these structures so these two structures will form the superficial relation of the external carotid artery above the carotid triangle now what are the uh, structures which are deeply related deep structures so above the carotid triangle it is related the deep structures are first one we can see the internal carotid artery and posterior to that we see the superior laryngeal branch of vagus and two nerves are related deep here deep to the external carotid artery here which are they the two nerves are one is which is passing posterior as the glossopharyngeal that is in Ninth nerve. This is the glossopharyngeal, and the other is the branch of vagus. That branch is the posterior pharyngeal branch of vagus. Posterior pharyngeal. Pharyngeal. Branch of vagus. It is a pharyngeal branch of vagus. So, glossopharyngeal nerve. That's a ninth nerve. And pharyngeal branch of vagus. Pharyngeal branch of vagus. And the internal carotid artery. Now another nerve is the superior laryngeal nerve. Now we see other structure here which is related deep to that external carotid. That is that is a process here. That this is a styloid process. So styloid process. And two muscle arising in the styloglossus, which are the uh, styloglossus and the stylopharynges. Styloglossus and stylopharynges. So these are the relations of the external carotid artery. Now we will mention about the branches of external carotid artery. Branches here. So arising as a branch of common carotid artery. So this is the external carotid. It uh, terminates into two branches which are mainly what the two terminal branches are maxillary and superficial temporal. So in the neck it gives out numerous branches which are the anterior branches here. Now anterior branches are the first branch is the superior thyroid artery. So this is the superior thyroid artery labeled as one. One is superior thyroid. The next branch is lingual.
this is labeled as 2 2 is lingual and the third one is facial which is labeled as 3 so 3 is facial so these are the anterior branches of the external carotid artery now we will discuss about the posterior branches so the two posterior branches are so first one is the occipital artery which is labeled as 4 so 4 is occipital next one is next posterior branch is posterior auricular posterior auricular branch now these are the posterior branches now the medial branches are so there is only one medial branch that is the ascending pharyngeal is a medial branch so fifth one is sorry sixth one ascending pharyngeal now the terminal branches are we have mentioned it so maxillary so and superficial temporal artery so in total there are eight branches arising from the external carotid artery so that is all about external carotid artery thank you for watching this video to see more videos on our channel please subscribe the channel thank you